ready for a story. It is Giddy Goat. And I, I think I need my glasses. Hold up. In a land above the clouds, perched between heaven and earth, on the top of a barren rocky mountain, lived a family of goats. These were no ordinary goats. These were rock climbing goats with hooves that clung onto the cliffs like sticky socks. These were aerobatic goats. They could leap the deepest ravines while the toy town world buzzed below. These goats knew no fear. Except one. Giddy Goat was the youngest of the kids and had no head for heights. Stand him on a ledge and his knees would turn to jelly. Make the spinning stop, he would cry, clinging to the rock face. Giddy Goat didn't feel like a mountain goat at all. One day, his family took a picnic right to the top of the needle. Giddy was so terrified, he couldn't move a muscle. Come on, Giddy, pleaded the other kids. We don't have enough players for rock rounders. Then play something else, he said. Giddy was quivering. While the other kids played tag, Giddy pointed to the lush green meadows below where the sleep sheep get grazed. Where the sheep grazed. I want to live down there, he said, trembling. With the sheep, said Paw Billy. Never, you're a goat, Giddy. Sheep can't even climb molehills, said his mother. But that night, Giddy Goat ran away from home. He strapped himself to a tray and slid down the mountain with his eyes tightly shut. In the morning, when he opened his eyes again, he was upside down in a low-lying meadow where the sheep grazed. I've come to be a sheep, Giddy said to a wrinkled ram. The old ram stared at Giddy with his eyes as cold as marbles. You're a smelly goat, he said. We're far too good for the likes of you. Sheep and goats don't mix, said the old man. Go home, goat. Poor, Gil poor Giddy crept away from the flock and cried. He could, how could he go home when home was 20,000 feet off the ground and he was scared of heights? Suddenly, Giddy heard a noise. It was a faint, faraway bleeding that whispered through the clouds. It was the sound of a lamb lost on the mountain. Giddy knew how frightened that lamb would be. He knew it would fall unless rescued. He also knew that no one else had heard the lamb. Only he could help. Giddy had to find the fearless goat inside himself. He tiptoed up the mountain and placed a nervous hoof on the steep path. Stones crumbled underfoot, but it was now or never. With one fearless bound, Kitty sprang, Giddy sprang onto the rock face. He bounced from boulder to boulder and flew over ravines like a great bearded bird. Giddy was climbing. He found the lamb trapped on a narrow ledge. Hello, he said, I'm Giddy. So am I, trembled Edmund the lamb. No, Giddy's my name, said the goat, clucking. What are you doing up here? The lamb looked sheepish. I want to be a rock climber, he said, but I'm too scared to move. Really, said Giddy? Follow me. Giddy started to climb. Do exactly what I do. In no time at all, Edmund was bounding up and down the mountain like a goat, and so was Giddy. Giddy's brothers and sisters couldn't believe their eyes. You climbed the needle, they said. Yup, me and Edmund, said Giddy. But he's just a measly sheep, he's, said his kid sister. Is he, said Giddy. It didn't take Edmund long to prove 
that he had a knack for climbing. And with two extra players, the goats finally played the game of Rock Rounders. They had so much fun that they didn't notice the sun going down until Edmund heard his mother calling. Edmund was so tired that Giddy lifted him onto his back and carried him home. The sheep gave Giddy a hero's welcome for rescuing em Edmund. They said now that Giddy could live with them in the valley. You're very kind, said Giddy, but I belong on the mountain with the other goats. From then on, Edmund and Giddy got to know each other and become friends. They met halfway up and halfway down the mountain to play games, and some nights they would have a sleepover. Giddy and Edmund one night. Giddy said to Edmund one night, thank you for helping me learn to climb mountains. I'm glad I'm not afraid anymore. Me neither, said Giddy. It's a lot easier to be brave when you have a friend with you. And with smiles on their faces, they both fell asleep. <gasps> oh, I enjoyed that story. <sighs> Sweet dreams.